Hey, what's up guys? I'm here talking about LinkedIn and how awesome it is, how we get about 80% of our business from it. Um, it's a great place to be, whether you're selling to businesses or consumers. How's it going, Larry? Let's jump right into it. I want to craft the perfect profile page, right? So this is the first thing people see if you're connecting with them or if you're messaging them, um, they see your profile. So we always recommend, let's just start at the top, right? A good professional profile picture, something that catches their attention. Uh, we have our software here in the back. It's my wife and I here and telling them what you are, right? Founder. So let's go right to the next part because this isn't too relevant. People are going to skip over this pretty fast. Um, they're going to go right into how you're going to help them. So most times I see right here on the profile section that they're going to see all about you, how awesome you are, all your accomplishments. They don't care. If you, somebody's coming to your LinkedIn page, just like your website, they don't care about what you've done and how awesome they are. They want to know if you can solve their problem. They want to be able to resonate with you and hear your message. So we help people with website leads. That's the very first thing we say here. So if somebody's having problems with website leads coming in, they're going to see that we're able to help them with that. Busy, feel like you can't keep up. So I want you guys to craft your LinkedIn profile and summary about that you feel their pain points, that you understand what they're going through, and then tell them as they go on how you're going to help them. Add three simple strategies together. So, and then make it easy for them to reach out to you, right? I have my phone number there, my website there. It's super easy for them to just reach out and connect. So this that's what it's all about, right? Feeling their pain points and showing them. Next thing I want to go to is something that people just don't even think about, right? They're going to go down the line and they're only going to fill out the first couple things. But if you keep going down, there's other important things that people want to see and they want to read about. So here's number one. I just want to show you guys real quick uh, how many people have viewed our profile um, recently. So that's pretty cool. What's up, Andy? Hope all is well. Um, so we're talking about LinkedIn profiles here. 2,602 people have viewed my profile. I'm an all-star. Why? Because I took the time and I filled this information out. So now when people come to my page, they're going to see how I'm going to help them, who I am, and then I'm going to provide some value. So the next thing I want to get into is articles and activities, right? So any blog post or anything you're doing online on your website, post it to LinkedIn. Hey, Dr. Martin, I appreciate uh, the recommendation you, you gave me. Uh, we're going to get to that in a second. So as you can see, I have 29,796 followers, um, which is awesome. And why? Because I post an article every single day to LinkedIn. I post it to Medium and also to my website. This is getting traffic back to my web, website, which is the goal here, right? I think I clicked out of that. So the, use LinkedIn to not only you know build your business and connect with people, but you can also use it to get links back to your website. So if you have a blog, if you want potential clients to go to your site, use LinkedIn, look at your profile, see that they're, you know, resonate with you and what you offer, and then they'll go back to your website, which I think is key. And that's really how we grow our business. Mr. Omar Mason, hope you're all, you're good. So, all right, so we have articles and activities. Um, that's great. Then tell them, you know, what your business is. This isn't relevant. Nobody looks at this probably. But if you add your website link here, they can easily go back to your website, which is cool. Um, and then your media. So post links anywhere you possibly can. Nobody cares about what you've, what you've done in the past. They just want to know what you are doing right now, right? Um, so let's see here. Next is the endorsements. Nobody goes and looks at that either, I don't think. Um, if you guys do, I think it's just, you know, people do that just to try to catch your attention. Nobody cares about that. And then the recommendations, Dr. Martin right here. Thank you, I appreciate that. That's really cool that you left us that recommendation. I need to go back to your page and leave you a review also. So, um, and now, next thing I wanna do is I wanna bring my recommendations up to the top. So you can actually go in, edit your profile, and sort these widgets out, they're called widgets. So now, make the most important things at the top here. How you're gonna help them, your recommendations, and then links back to your website. Now, as you guys can see, I've got 29,000 followers. LinkedIn is a great place to connect with people, even if you're a consumer business. A lot of people think it's only for business to business. 
even if you're a consumer, you can go there, build networks, connect with other uh, professionals, especially if you're local in your area. So how we grew our health and fitness business, we connected with every doctor in St. Pete. Uh, we referred people as we needed to, and they referred people back to us. That was cool. That was a great business to consumer transaction because we actually connected to other businesses that would send us consumers right on LinkedIn. Next thing that we, you could do is you can do a search by location in your area, at least connect with them. If they come to your page and they see that you're going to help them do this and that and fix this problem because you understand, that's when it all changes, right? That's when you can get people from LinkedIn, consumers or businesses back to your website. Let me just show you guys how awesome this search is, right? So let's say health. Let's just look that up. Let's just say we're in the health industry. So we got 39 people, 39 million people here. I mean, that's a pretty good number right there. So let's look at locations. United States, actually let's narrow it down to St. Pete. So now I can go in and I can connect with 215,000 people that are local to me that are in the health industry and that I can either network with, they might look at my profile, they think I can help them, they might tell other people about me. So the search capabilities are crazy. Think of it as almost even as good of a Google search. So I don't know if you guys have ever tried doing a search like this in Facebook. It's not as pretty. It's not as nice as this. And I'll show you guys real quick what that looks like. Obviously, Google's number one, right? So let's just type in health here, see what happens. And give me a thumbs up if you guys have ever tried any of this. It's pretty cool. You can use the right networks. So if I type in health, it's not showing me anything, right? Anything about a business that I can connect, work, connect and network with. Oh, that's weird. There's my information, <laughs> health, health. But I need to go to post, right? So if I go to post, still no local businesses I can connect with, people. Basically, it's giving me names here, and they're not even the right names. Photos, I don't want photos, so maybe I can find someone in pages. If I go to pages, health, men's health, I mean, that has nothing to do with networking, local businesses, or getting my name out in my area. I don't even think I can do it by, I can do it by places here. So the point, and that St. Pete, yep, so that has nothing to do with health. So the point of the story is, go and find the exact person you need to connect with, whether it's your consumers, other local businesses, go to the places where they are at. They're not in Facebook trying to network with you. They're on there looking at cat photos and uh, interacting with their friends. LinkedIn, they're gonna go to Google if they want a local doctor or a local fitness facility. Go there, make sure your presence is known, network and get your name out. That is the best way, that's what works for us. And if you guys need any help with that, make sure you send us a message. We'll give you our feedback and maybe answer any questions you might have. So thank you everybody for watching today, I appreciate it. The rest of the week we're gonna be doing videos and blogs about LinkedIn. So make sure you stay, uh, stay tuned and have a good rest of your week.